Are you a professional? <laughs> Are you? That's it, Clark. Show him who's boss. Oh, we're all in this together! Hello everyone and welcome back to the Clark Griswold YouTube channel. I am Mr. Clark Griswold. If you are a first timer, then welcome to the channel. Happy to have you guys here. I am happy to be here. If you subscribed to the channel before, I thank you. I appreciate it. If you haven't, you can do so down below. Click that subscribe button. Hit the bell. The bell gives you notifications for when I send out daily videos just like this one of our top five plays or our full watch list, or learning tools, or informational videos, or motivational videos, uh, videos on 3-1 setups, 30 and 30 plays, which you guys should check out, how to play Sarah Strat Sniper's 50% rule, all kinds of other videos. You can also follow me on Twitter, at Mr. Clark Griswold. You can DM me there, you can message me there, comment there, you can do the same thing on the YouTube videos, any of the YouTube videos. I usually get back to you guys within the same day. I am here to help you guys out. On your trading journey there is no dumb questions so feel free to ask you can also subscribe by clicking this little face in the right hand corner bottom corner there okay so guys I don't have that many setups today I the thumbnail I've got is a top five there's probably ten plays on here in total so we will go through them and then maybe at the end if I've got a little bit more time I'll just run through what I do during the day and just setups that I look for will maybe look at spy um, or something like that. So anyways, let's get started. PayPal, we've got a 1-3 here. Outside bar with this hammer hammer candle. Okay, I didn't really set this one up because I wasn't going to use it as a play. But this is all we do. We put our targets here to the top, or sorry, our triggers to the tops and the bottom of the wick of the outside bar. We break to the high side. Our first target is this pink line which is also our trigger for the weekly. So if we go to the weekly on PayPal, that would give us the two up on the week, okay? And I just did a video today. You guys can go check that one out. Uh, when we trigger the day, we trigger the month. So this is a little different. We trigger the day, we're likely gonna trigger the week, or our first target is at least the weekly trigger, okay? So watch for PayPal on this outside bar tomorrow, the day, the week, and the month are all green. If you're looking for this indicator here, go into your indicator tab, type in time frame continuity, author is board rider B. These numbers that you see on the left of my screen here, I don't usually use them. If you guys would like them, I leave them on here for you guys because I've had a lot of comments of people wanting them. Type in candle type, the strat author is Crinklebein. Okay, that takes care of that. So we can take calls on PayPal at $92.74, puts at uh, $87.12. Okay, next up is Carnival Cruise Line CCL. Had a two down that finished green, hammer candle. We can take calls on this one at $17.74. If we look back on what happened today, we actually triggered. Uh, we triggered on the daily, okay? We also triggered the monthly and we hit targets. So you guys should have taken profits here. And guys, this happens all the time. If I put this target here, that was our target from today. We hit it and reversed. That's why we tell you to take profit at targets or magnitude or pivot points all the time. Because a lot of times what happens, we'll hit these targets and we reverse. So make sure you're taking, you don't have to take it all, but Leave a couple runners on if you'd like, if you have multiple contracts. If you're only trading with one, two, three contracts, I would sell them when you're at first targets or when you're at that 10, 20, 30% mark, okay? Small wins consistently equals bigger gains over the long run, okay? I will promise you that over and over, okay? But we can take calls on Carnival uh, at 1774. First target or magnitude is there. Second one there okay just like that tops of the wicks as we go up next on the list is sq that's square same play two up hammer candle 
target one, target two. Okay, first magnitude is not uh, very widespread, so just be cognizant of that. Uh, calls at 107.26. Time frame on the day, the week, and the month are all green for square. AMC, I believe AMC has fairly high premiums. You might want to check that out. But we have a two down that finished green. Okay, again, so we'll take calls on this one at 1590, okay? And targets again. Target one. And that's it's as simple as that. We're just taking that one's the same. There we go. Taking the highs of the pre preceding wicks. Okay, so that's a this would be a two two reversal. Two down green followed by a two up. Okay, that's what we're looking for. Bed Bath and Beyond is BBBY. Inside bar on Bed Bath and Beyond. I love the inside bars. Okay, so they don't the inside bars do not break the high or the low of the previous candle. They show consolidation within a ticker or a stock, and they basically become spring loaded, getting ready to uh, explode to one direction or the other. And if we go back and look on the daily chart on Bed Bath & Beyond, this is a 3-1 setup, but same difference, big run down, inside bar, little run up on that one, and they don't always work. Here's another one, nice run down. Uh, here's another one, a nice run up on the day, and it actually went up for four or five days. Uh, here's another one, inside bar, nice run up, okay? So... Inside bars are powerful. I really love to play the inside bars. Uh, next up on the list, we can go to D Dog. That's Data Dog. Whoops. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'll just move this down. Data Dog has a two down that finished green. Uh, with a hammer candle, okay, so we can take calls at 119.31, and just again, top of the wicks are, are, are our triggers, okay, KDP, that's cured Dr. Pepper, two down that finished green, a little bit of a hammer candle here, calls at 37.31, and again, there's our first target, and this is also what is known as a rev strat, when we have an inside bar or a one bar, bar, we look for a one, two down, two up reversal, okay, that is known as a rev strat, and we have a one two two reversal. Okay, KDP. So next up, Pfizer has a. This is a pretty big inside bar, but again, we can take calls on Pfizer at forty nine eighty seven. Target one, target two, target three is our weekly trigger, and if we go to the downside, uh, puts at forty seven ninety one, and bottom of the wicks become our targets, and our third target again. To the downside is our break of the monthly trigger on Pfizer, okay? But time frame, day, week, month, all green. So we'll see how Pfizer plays out tomorrow. Procter & Gamble, inside bar on, on Procter & Gamble. A uh, couple things here to note. So if we take calls at 157.55, uh, our first target would be here at 158.94. And then here is our trigger I was going to say here's our trigger for the weekly. We've already triggered to the downside on the weekly. So if we come down on puts, our magnitude here is not great, okay? So if we break to the downside, this is our first target. And then, guys, this is the bottom of our broadening formation. Lower low, lower low. If we hit lower low, if we hit here, I'd be ready to take some profits because chances are if it does come down, it's going back up that same day now that's based on probabilities i don't know that but that's what tends to happen when we hit the broadening formation uh sarah strat sniper talks about it all the time and she talks about exhaustion risk okay when we hit lower lows she doesn't like to play them to the downside or higher high she doesn't like to play them to the upside okay so next up ttd had a two down the finish green. This is a big, big uh, hammer on it, but we can call that a hammer candle. We can take calls at 62.82, and our first target is 63.20. Not great magnitude on that one, but our second target is right there. Okay, that's TTD. I think we have a couple more here, guys. Twitter, TWTR, two down green. Can you call that a hammer candle? Maybe you can get away with that. 
Uh, we take calls on this one at 49.24. And again, I've just labeled the targets for you guys. One, two, three. Tops of the preceding wicks. That's all we do. Okay, and I think this is the last one on the list is Uber. Uber had a big, big gap here uh, to start the day. And we did not fill it. So let's go through this one. Let's look for uh, calls on Uber. We had a two down finish green, so it's a failed two. We can look for calls at 2842 trigger. And our first target, because of the gap, and because there is a gap, we take the bottom of the preceding wick. Okay, and then our next target can be the top of the preceding wick. Okay, so this is our first target. Second target is way up here. Let's look for the gap fill on Uber tomorrow. Guys, that's it for the list. Just let me check time here. I got about two minutes left before uh, my thing's going to run out. So let's just go back on the five minute real quick on Spy before I run out of time. And let's hop back here to the fourth. And I just want to show you all the different plays you can scalp on a five minute here. So if we go back to 7.30 at the opening, that's when it opens for me. Let's look. So we had an inside bar, and you could have taken this up. You hit first targets, okay? And then you come back with an inside bar, and as I said here, you hit target one, okay? Then you come back with another inside bar. You could have sold there made some money. Have another inside bar. You can play that. Look at this. Up, up. You hit one, two targets again. You can be out. Then you can play this reversal. Look, two up, two down reversal. Okay, so we come down. Hit one target, two targets, three targets, four targets almost, just shy. So you can go through these all day. So go back on Spy. Look at all the inside bar plays that you could have played. Look at all the reversal plays that you could have played. You can play these things all day on Spy. And maybe I'll go through another video when I've got a little bit more time and in depth and show you what I look for intraday. But these are more scout plays. Um, but... Anyways, take a look at Spy. Go through on the 5-minute. Go through on the 15-minute. Go back in time. See what you can play and what works for you guys. What would have worked. Where you would have got stopped out. Okay? Just backtest everything. That's all I did for a really long time when I was first starting to learn how to trade. So it's a good tool to learn, guys. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Give me a subscription. You can follow me on Twitter. Follow me uh, at Mr. Clark Griswold. And until the next one, guys, bye-bye.